Ross Bill. Great to see you. Absolutely. Our, you know, our, we've invested probably $100 million in Turkey over the last nine years or so. Um, we were very successful with exploration. So after initial very modest investment, you know, we ended up finding roughly 3 million ounces of gold there, where all the, the, the value added is. I would say that um, you know the approach we're taking is quite responsible. It's a, a very modest capital investment to get our first mine underway. Mm -hmm. uh, we've only just permitted uh, that mine for construction. We received the final permit a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd say an important thing to emphasize when you're in the mining business is you have to take a very, very long-term view. We've been there, think about it, since 2009, and we started on our first project in 2010. We won't see our first production until 2020, mm -hmm. and we've got about 15 years of production out in front of us from that point forward. So, uh, of course, you don't you don't want to rejoice in Turkey's misfortune, I know, but the plunge in the currency makes it even cheaper to build stuff there, presumably. True enough. I mean, when we did our feasibility study on Karazli, the first project we're de developing, the currency rate uh, we used was 2.9 lira to the dollar. You know, that's going to have a fairly significant impact on our capital spending because something like 65 percent of our of our construction costs will be lira denominated so that does benefit us to some extent but on the other hand you've got very very high inflation mm -hmm. and yeah. to that extent uh, you know over time that inflation will take some of that gain back so we would rather see stability rather than volatility but how much of the payroll for for that mine will be in lira how much in u.s dollars all of it will be in lira okay all of it will be in lira we're, we're not employing any expats whatsoever no expats no expats and in fact the um the mine itself will be contract mined one thing that turks do extraordinarily well in fact they're among the best in the world at it, it's excavating and uh moving rock you'll find very few countries in the world with their level of expertise have all their own equipment um, they manufacture their own equipment within Turkey.